I think it's definitely a process that you have to stay on top of because you want to create a good relationship with your agent or your manager of your child. You definitely want them to understand that you're going to be communicative because everyone has to understand that that agent then has to go to the casting director and say, yes, this child, teen, young adult is going to be, you know, presenting you with their audition materials in time. And, yeah. that, and that's their job. And if you aren't communicative with them, then they can't be communicative it, it affects their ability to do their job and so you're you know you're a part of that you know the cogs in the wheel that make this whole system turn and and I felt that it was it was tricky I think as a parent you you feel a little bit like middle management you know what I mean because you're dealing with your you want to keep everything kind of happy and pleasant for your child because they don't need to really understand the business side of it and all of that it's not their responsibility and it's also kind of like an extension of an extracurricular activity. It just happens to be that they get paid for what they're doing <laughs> and they're building their resume. It really kind of is like another thing. So if your child yeah. is used to, or you're used to your child being in soccer and then, you know, I don't know, joining the basketball team. And then at the same time, maybe they are in the choir and they have to do choir, like whatever you're juggling, I think it's just another thing to juggle. If you end up with too many, you have to say to your child, yeah. what do we need to, to get off your plate? But it really feels like that a little bit. You know, even though you do have to like, you, I like the fact that you are asking her if she likes the material and all of that.